we riding in the rain. And at this point, I really want to give up on the restaurant, but I want the money. <laughs> Cause it's a paid date. With that girl, I put y'all. Cause y'all really with that girl. It's, it's by my nigga house. It's by my nigga that I'm house. It's it's literally. I can literally walk out the restaurant and walk down the street to my nigga house. That's how close it was to my my other dude's house. Part of my butt is so sore from walking yesterday. So I was like, if this part of my butt is sore from walking four miles yesterday. I need to do four more miles and four more miles and four more, four more, four more miles so my ass can get fat and then I can be walking like this. Okay, so this is better. So yesterday when um I met this guy on online, y'all already know I met him online. I just finished two mile walk. I just finished a two mile walk. I'm sweating like crazy out here, but we gotta stay sexy. So I just finished a two mile walk and right now what I'm going to do is stretch, do basic stretching. And because the wind is so, the wind is going so hard. I don't even know if you can hear me out here. Spread your legs like this. four miles yesterday i've taken two months off from working out period like being active i haven't worked out in over two months so my muscles are really really tight now we are back up from our right leg i'm gonna go down to the left leg and just just, just this right here stretching deeply like this Okay, first of all, he drove down from north. Do I need to get in the sun? I should have recorded when I was walking that way. It was much easier to just focus on getting to my destination and then recording. But now that I'm walking back, I'm like, what the fudge? So I walked two miles north and now I'm walking back two miles south, which is going to give me a, a total of four miles today. I did four miles yesterday also. And I feel like my booty growing already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so this is better. So yesterday when um, I met this guy on online, y'all already know I met him online. But he, we went back and forth. And this on the, I didn't meet him on the same website that I always meet him, where I meet the other SDs on. I met him on this site called WYP. Um, when we were talking on the website, he was just like, you know, whatever. 
he picked me up from my date yesterday and picked me up from my house for my date yesterday when he was picking me up i was just like he pulled up he's dutch he's a dutch he's dutch he's a pilot he came over to america to be a pilot that's what he does he picked me up in a honda no big deal i ain't gonna judge man car I'm like at least you got a car nigga i ain't got no car so i ain't judging his car but hold that thought remember that so look at that damn gazelle over there is that a gazelle i don't know but um so once he picked me up yesterday we we are riding around to look first of all he didn't even make no fucking reservations he said we could do dinner at 8 p.m i asked him what he liked to eat he was like oh the usual beef chicken and pork i'm like what the fuck so he was like ha 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 i'm like this nigga is a cornball we go around we um we i said let's go to stk so we pull up to stk this motherfucker is acting like he don't know what a part what the dude he's like uh, uh where's the parking like so we try to find parking for so long i said fuck it let's go find somewhere else we leave miami beach and go over to another restaurant called joy beach we get to joy beach joy beach says it's open online but it actually closed at this point i've been riding around with this man we don't went to two restaurants we've been riding around for 40 fucking minutes damn near hour it started pouring down raining i'm talking about thunder lightning pouring raining and i'm nervous in the car like i don't like to ride in the car on the road when it's raining outside and i damn sure don't like to ride with drivers that i don't know like he cool in the daytime he could he could ride me when the sun out but to drive me while it's raining uh-uh I don't even like people who I know let me drive drive me in the rain because I'd be so fucking scared. Because I'm like, even when I drove in the rain, I almost got into an accident. So I'm just like, mm -mm. I don't trust humans like that. So we ride in the rain. And at this point, I really want to give up on the restaurant, but I want the money because <laughs> it's a paid date. So I am like, okay. This motherfucker ain't giving up. Like, he's not giving up on finding a restaurant so we can sit down and look at each other and eat. Every time I walk by the water, the wind is blowing like this. Let's get from by the water. This is my favorite house. Like, I want a house like this someday. So beautiful. Okay, the wind is calming down. So, we at, we finally found another restaurant. We found a restaurant, but it's it's by my nigga house. It's by my nigga that I'm fucking house. It's, it's literally, I can literally walk out the restaurant and walk down the street to my nigga house. That's how close it was to my, my other dude's house. And he out of town. So, we get to the restaurant. We pull up to the valet because it's thundering and lightning. And I told him, like, I ain't bring no umbrella. You ain't bring no umbrella. I'm not finna fucking be walking out here in the rain with high heels on and getting wet up like this. So, he part valet. He part valet, we get out. Of course, everybody looking at us because I'm with a old, white, fat man who is pale. He ain't even got no motherfucking tan, bitch. I'm talking about pale, pale. Bitch, I'm talking about fucking Ritz crack, not Ritz cracker, because Ritz crackers is tan, bitch. This motherfucker is a salting, true salting. So, as I'm, as I'm, as I'm just like people see, paying attention to what's around me, not like that, cause that one was tan. But as I'm paying attention to what's around me, yeah, he looking, he all of my motherfucking business, bitch. You tan, I ain't talking about you. So as I am getting out the car, I'm proud. I'm, you know, he's when we in the car, we ride to the restaurants. The whole time we went riding around the car, each other. It's been super quiet. I'm the one that's trying to ask questions. I'm the one that's trying to be engaging. He's just like, he's almost scared to talk. He's like, your pictures online are so beautiful. Are you a model? You're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, here we go with this shit. So I'm like, okay, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. We get out, the rest, we get out at the restaurant. We go into the restaurant. Y'all tell me why I thought I was going into a nice, bougie ass restaurant. And we don't walk into a motherfucking buffet where all these fucking people at. And you know what a buffet is? Yeah, bitch, like that. I was so mad. I was so mad. I was so mad. I was so upset. I was just like, not even upset. More so irritated because 
This nigga was, first of all, he drove an hour to get to me. He drove an hour to come to the date. And I'm like, damn, this nigga is desperate. Cause I was trying to ask him, like, I didn't know, when you set your location up on the website, I didn't know uh, how close he is. Like, I don't go to niggas, niggas come to me. White, black, Indian, Asian, I don't give a fuck. You coming to me. So, as we are um, hanging out at the restaurant, I'm just trying to be engaged, just trying to ask questions. Y'all know me, I'm social. I ask a lot of questions. I get to know him. We talking, we chatting. Um, by the end of the day, I learned that he's been married one time. He got divorced. He don't have no kids. And he spent a lot of time by himself and he don't cook. He eat up can he eat up his food from the can and that's how he eat. Like he don't cook. He live a lonely, miserable life. And I didn't feel like that's something I wanted to be a part of. He literally lives a lonely, miserable life. It it just don't seem like he's happy. Um and he don't work out at all. I was asking him, like, do you work out? Do you do this? Do that? He don't do none of that shit. And then when I was telling him about me working out, he he literally became cynical and pessimistic talking about some oh you need to be careful your knees are gonna age you out your elbows you're this and you're that he started telling me about all the soreness about my body and my joints that i would experience as i got older i said you probably experiencing that because you a bit on the heavier side and you don't work out who the fuck you think you're talking to like you big nigga and you don't work out you don't eat healthy you have no type of he talk about some the workout he do is when he, as a pilot, walking through the airport, lifting bags and shit and helping people on and off the airplane. That's enough workout for him. I said, uh-uh. This ain't, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> this, we're not compatible. So that's what I knew. Like, yeah, we're not compatible. This not gonna work. He don't work out. And then he's trying to shun me for working out. Talking about, so, oh, you can easily just ride a bike. You can ride a bike. Nigga, I said, because I had told him I had walked four miles today. He was like, oh, that's a lot. Why didn't you just ride a bike? I hate when motherfuckers who don't work out don't understand the intensity of working out, getting yourself together, keeping your body healthy, not wanting a big bag, eating healthy, being conscious of what you eat, being conscious of your diet, being conscious of your life. Like, this nigga, I was like, yeah, no. And I, I dated fat niggas. As y'all can tell, I'm walking by the water again. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that he didn't work out and he didn't, and I asked him did he cook. He was like, no, he just seemed like a miserable old man. He's 56 years old. He don't seem like he's happy about anything in life. You know, I was just like, well, maybe he's not attracted to me. But when I text him at, um, at the end of the day, I was like, you know, thank you for your time. We had a good, I had, I told him, thank you for your time and for your energy. Thank you for sharing your time and energy. And he was like, I had a great time with you. You had great conversation. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't have never known because it came across like a shy guy. He probably is shy, but still he big as fuck, pale, don't work out, and he's not. he don't seem like he's happy about life. And I don't want them type of men in my life, paying or not. I don't give a fuck. You miserable, and the misery that you have will pour onto me. Like, I was telling him, when we was getting ready to leave the restaurant, and we was uh, standing out by ballet, and we was looking at cars, and I was just like, you know, I haven't had a car in five years. I'm not settling for no car. Cars are expensive nowadays. If I'm gonna pay for something, I'm gonna pay for what I want and what I love. Like, I'm gonna get a car that I really, really want. That's why I haven't done it in the past five years or so. So as I'm discussing this with him, talking to him about it, he has, he's just like, oh, well, you can get a Honda for like, I told him I wanted like a Mercedes G-Wagon or a, a Porsche Panamera or maybe an Aston Martin truck or maybe like a Porsche truck. Like I want a nice car and I'm going to get what I want. I'm not willing to settle. I don't give a fuck. I'll wait. So... I'd rather have nothing than to settle for settle for the fuck shit he was driving. I don't give a fuck. That's why all my men come and get me, and I stay in an area where I don't have to have to have a car. I haven't had a car in like five years. Anything I want to do, I get up and go do it. Still. So if I'm gonna drive a car, bitch, it's gonna be the one I want. Okay, especially if I'm the one paying for it. And if a man is gonna ask to buy me a car, it's gonna be the one I want or keep that shit where it's at. So I told him that, 
and he became he became so pessimistic. Every car that I told him I wanted, he was just like, "Oh, that car's not that car's not worthy of appreciation. That that car's gonna depreciate. That car's gonna depreciate." I was like, "Every car that you take off the parking lot depreciates." He's like, "Oh, some cars have a great resale value." I'm like, "Porsche has a great resale value." Mercedes G-Wagon has a great resale value. You can look it up. You can go look it up. Like Porsche Panamera has a great resale value. Tell me why this motherfucker talking about some the best cars are Hondas. I've had a Honda since this, this, and that. I've had a Honda. I've done this. I've done that. I don't give a fuck about your Honda, motherfucker. Yeah, this sweat dropping in my ears. I mean, in my eyes, the sweat is so bad. So, yeah, that's what he was saying. Like, he was like, I, I'd rather have this. I don't need no cynical man like him in my motherfucking life. I tell him I want a Porsche. I tell him I'm motherfucking reaching for the sky, the stars, and everything I got going on in my life. And he didn't come give me some pessimistic shit. Uh-uh. I don't need nobody like that in my life. So, yeah. That was my first and last date with his ass. Won't see me again. And I got paid for the date. And we took my ass home. I couldn't. Uh uh. Motherfucker had me fucked up. I don't like being around men who are pessimistic. Uh uh. Uh uh. And damn, they don't want to be around no fat niggas because even though when you fucking me from the back, your belly is that bounce back. That backboard I need to bounce back on that from when I'm humping you. You know when you fucking a fat nigga, he got a belly hanging low. When he hitting it from the back, your ass ain't hitting nothing but belly. Mm-hmm. As long as he cool, I don't mind. But when he gets to acting like that cynical ass, look at them white folks in my motherfucking business. They all in my business. When uh um when he gets to acting like um that fat nigga I was with last night. Yeah, no. No, you gotta go. I was so ready to get the foot home. So happy he took me home. And then he tried not to pay me. He tried not to pay me. Because on the site, it ain't like you're getting paid through the site. You supposed to, when you meet up with the person, they give you the money. His motherfucking ass, when we was getting ready to leave, I was like, so, um, how this work? So, how this website work again? Like, how you gonna help me get paid? That nigga was gonna pull off without my motherfucking money, bitch. I was like, uh uh. I, I closed that door back so fast that that goddamn car sat right there until he sent me my money. You got me fucked up, fat nigga. Yeah. Look at this sweat on me. Look at this. Look at this. I got sweat in my eyes. Look at this. That's what you call dedication and discipline. Sweat is in my eyes, honey. That sweat is. <sighs> Not only that. Not only that, to strengthen my training, I put these, I'm literally dripping sweat. I put these um, weights on my legs. I don't know if y'all seen them while I was stretching. I put these weights on my ankles. Woo! Thigh relief. Them shits. I don't know, I remember how many pounds they are. I think it's less than 10 pounds. Woo! Or right about at 10. Sneakers off. Sweat is still dripping out my. Oh, look at this. Yes. I'm home, and the first thing I want to get is a protein shake. I'm about to make a protein shake. It's going to be a real simple protein shake. As y'all can see, I'm, I'm, um, Move my house. I move some things around in my place. Whew. Shit, I just want to take my shirt off to be real. I had these in the window, but the sun was getting too into to them too much, so I had to move them. And then, do y'all still iron y'all clothes? I know, I, I know my homegirl Vinciana do. That motherfucker had creases down her shirt yesterday. I said, this bitch is fresh. She was looking good from head to toe. 
nails on point, hair on point, jewelry on point, earrings, necklace, everything on motherfucking point. I met up with my subscriber. Your name is Missy. I know we done met, we done met. She is so pretty. I am so happy to meet my tribe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yes, yes. We was talking about how I was like, I'm so I didn't know what she looked like. I met her yesterday from YouTube. I had no idea what she looked like, and I was just concerned: is she gonna be pretty? Like, how's she gonna be put together? Like, what's she gonna what's she gonna be like? We were so fucking compatible. We, if I didn't have to go on a date last night, we probably would still be here right now talking because that's how cool we clicked. Like, we instantly clicked. Um, okay. Now, for my protein shake, did I just... Yeah, I want to take my shirt off so damn bad. I'm about to take it off. Let me hurry up and do this so I can get off camera because I'm hot as hell. I done rolled two goddamn blunts. I rolled two blunts before I walked. So I was like, I'm going to come home. I'm going to make my protein shake and I'm going to sweat my blunts and I'm going to write on my whiteboard. I finally cleared my whiteboard off. And yesterday, I had bought these markers for my whiteboard, but these markers are too, these markers too thick. So I just came back from the store getting the thin size markers. I need these. Um, I need to write something. All right, so basically what I'm writing down yesterday is that I went to my happy hour with Anna. I'm just trying to organize my life. And that's what I've been doing since I've been off camera. Not how I've only been scripting videos for you all to watch, but I've been implementing what I say in the videos, actually doing it. So I created some organization in my life by creating a whiteboard yesterday. And the reason why I don't have y'all super close to the whiteboard is because y'all don't need to see what's on it. You can just see the demonstration. So I have a whiteboard that I have... Um, I finally cleaned off yesterday and I put my tasks, just like my little tasks on it because sometimes I be feeling like, damn, my day has gone by and I didn't do anything. But in fact, I have done things. I just didn't write it down. So I have decided to start writing down everything that I do, even, even writing. And another reason I've been off camera is because I've been journaling more, like writing more in my journal. So there's no need to get on camera and tell y'all how I'm feeling when I could just write it down. Not every time I need to tell y'all what the fuck is going on. So now I am updating my whiteboard with my four miles. I did four miles today. I mean, I did four miles yesterday and I did four miles today. So let's get some consistency going on. It is August 4th and we're just four days in. You could change anything. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with that. All right, now. I also got me some Vaseline and deodorant because I left my deodorant at my man's house. Oh, y'all, I'm so exhausted. Like, that's another reason why I'd be working out. I know you can't hear, can't see me, but you can hear me. Um, I was like, I haven't worked out for the past two months. I need to get up and work out. So I started back working out yesterday. And today, what I'm going to make is going to be real simple. I have this. When I was in Atlanta, my personal trainer encouraged me to buy this protein powder. I got it from Amazon. It's called the Opto Isolate High Performance Weight Isolate. My Muscle Recover Boost Metabolism, 25 grams of uh, protein and 5 grams of glutamine. So I'm about to put one scoop of this. Literally one scoop. One scoop in here. And then that's just one scoop of that. And that's 25 grams. Grams of protein. So we got 25 grams of protein right there. And then this bottle has nothing but ice and water in it. I'm just going to take the ice out of here. 
I drank all the water, so I'm gonna take the ice and put it in here. Let's make some noise. I don't give a fuck about my neighbors complaining because them motherfuckers be making noise all the motherfucking time. I be hearing them breathing every fucking thing. Like, how can I watch? Do I hear your big back ass breathing? That's doing too much, ain't it? Okay. But my other ice, I took all the ice out the freezer because this damn freezer ain't got no damn ice tray. So I took all the ice out the freezer and now I need ice. What the fuck? Okay. And this thing is insulated so it's all stuck together. Yeah, I'm struggling. What the fuck? I don't even need that much more. I see the ice. Why is it not coming out? Okay. There we go. How about I say, give me my damn ice. Looking date like you. I don't know. I love sucking it. I don't know. I love sucking it. Well, so I bone that dog like corn on a car. A check and wet meat. And then do your job. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do not. I have not. Okay, fun fact about me. I have not drinking whole milk in probably 10 years because I've seen how they make whole milk, so I stopped drinking that shit. I only drink almond milk, unsweetened, and I put it in my protein shakes, and sometimes I'll have a bowl of cereal with it. But I cannot drink whole milk. Mm -mm. It's not my team. So I just pour my milk in there, and then I take the bottom. This cup came with a blender. So I got the bottom, the part that go like this. And you do it like this, and then you put it. Oh, look, y'all. The reason why I walked today is because yesterday, when I, yes, this part of my butt right here, this part of my butt is so sore from walking yesterday. So I was like, if this part of my butt is sore from walking four miles yesterday, I need to do four more miles and four more miles and four more, four more, four more miles so my ass can get fat and then I can be walking like this. You know, because I got a fat ass now. And since I got a fat ass, I need to walk like I got one. <laughs> okay. But for real, I put the bottom on and then this is the blender. And the blender is like this. You just go like that. Well, first of all, I want to sh shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up. Then I couldn't stretch properly. I might do a, I might start um, recording stretching videos for y'all too. Okay, now we got most of the matter from the bottom. Let's do this. Should put peanut butter in here. That probably good.
doesn't look like ice cream. You're like, why are you blending it so long? Because these little spots, I don't want, I don't even want to suck no powder through my straw. So I'm looking at all these little spots at the bottom of my cup, making sure that I got them. Because. <laughs> Okay, so now once you do that, you take, I'm going to put the milk back. You take this top off. What we got? Mmm. Mmm. I don't like the way that tastes. I do not like that. It tastes like a frozen inshore. I'm gonna put some peanut butter in it. I need a sweetener. That's too. It has. It tastes like. If y'all got any tips for making your smoothie taste smoothier, y'all want to see my room? I finally got this room a lot more organized than it was, and I labeled my containers, and I just got my organization going on on this bitch. Anyway, let's get y'all out my business. Y'all all in my background. Cheat. Damn. Anyway, if y'all got any tips on, and I, these are bins that I need to go through. So these are the things left that I need to go through from Atlanta that I'm um, consolidating. Um, tell me why I motherfucking packed up my boxes. I was going to give them a goodwill and I got them and took them out by the trash can. And these motherfucking white bitches rambled through my shit. Like they went through all my stuff like a motherfucking raccoon and just left it out there. I put it out there neatly and they went through it. And now it, it was crazy. I was like, oh, white bitches, what? Anyway. If y'all got any tips on how to make your smoothie taste smoothier and better, give them to me in the comments down below. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're going to have a peanut butter smoothie. Why the fuck is this? <laughs> We got a peanut butter smoothie. Mm. Oh my God. I got the answer. Y'all can leave some tips down in the comment section below, but I'm going to tell you, add peanut butter. And if you don't like peanut butter, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> be about to be thick. About to be. Look at it. Look at it. Abs, 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 abs. I'm about to be thick out of me. I'm about to be thick. I'm about to be thick out of me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that's good. All right, y'all. I haven't seen y'all all week because I've been scripting and then I met up with a friend. I'm so glad that I did not allow my drug, getting drugs experience. Stop me from meeting Linciana. So glad I did not do that. And I am glad I went on a date with um his name is I'm not gonna tell y'all his name, but let's call him 
let's call him let's call him think of let's call him Shelbert. So I went out with Shelbert yesterday and it was cool, but Shelbert is not my type and I will probably not be seeing Shelbert again. Um and y'all it's something else I've been doing. I've been journaling, like I've been I've been oh shit. I've been journaling my thoughts down because sometimes I used to get on camera and just like express to y'all how I'm feeling and stuff about different things, but I've been writing it down and I've been writing down my goals, my plans, and my dreams, and I've been doing what I'm supposed to do. And I've been keeping tabs on um my progress. So I got one more. Oh, I need to go take a shower, bitch. I need to take a shower. I'm about to go take a shower, but I'm gonna leave y'all on one thing before I go take a shower. Pretend your vagina is worth something of value. Pretend it is a $500 bill. Never give away your most precious asset for free. Would you give a man you just met a free $500 bill? I didn't motherfucking think so. So yeah, keep that in mind next time you want to give your pussy out for free, bitch. Mm-hmm.